Hey guys, welcome to part three of this tutorial series where we are going to be building a Godot HTTP request example where we are going to have a leaderboard and pull data from the leaderboard REST API which we will be building in this video. So what we'll do is uh, we last created this uh, Lumen project uh, after installing it and now we're actually going to start setting up the REST API to have some data which we can pull into our Godot project and create some UI around that for a leaderboard. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos in future. If you like this video, please like below and if you have any questions, please comment as well. So thanks again for watching guys, let's jump into this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be seeding into our uh, leaderboard folder where we created our Lumen project. So you'll see there's a lot of different folders in here and uh, it can be quite, quite difficult to understand what's going on in here, but we're going to go through the basics and by the end of it you should have a decent understanding of Lumen to be able to expand your REST API even further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code as my code editor. You can use any code editor you like. Uh, the most uh, useful ones uh, in terms of Windows, uh, Mac and Linux is Visual Studio Code and Sublime Text. Uh, if you have other editors, like I know in some Linux uh, people use uh, editors like Kate, uh, you can use that. Or if you are brave enough to use Notepad in Windows, you can use that as well. Any text editor that you're comfortable with uh, editing files with will do. So I'm going to just run Visual Studio Code by typing code dot and it's going to open up this project for us. So the very first thing we want to do is just configure our application and how we do that is we'll edit this .env.example file. So as it says, it's just an example and you'll see it has a bit of configuration in here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, modify this uh, so that we can uh, use SQLite and so on. So I'm going to rename it because the actual uh, env file that uh, Lumen uses and Laravel uses is .env. So I'm going to get rid of this .example at the end and save it. So the first thing we want to do is just change our app name to leaderboard. And uh, it doesn't really matter for this project, but later uh, it will be useful because you'll be able to access this app name uh, inside of your project. For our database connection, we're going to get rid of everything except DB connection. And we're going to put in SQLite in here. And that will be our database driver. Then we want to actually have the DB uh, path and uh, I can't uh, remember what it is. So I'm going to use the documentation to help me with that. And uh, if you look at the main Laravel documentation over here and go into getting started on database, you will have um, the configuration settings here. So DB database is what we need. So just copy that out and put that into the env file under DB connection. So it says you use an absolute path basically, so we'll use an absolute path. So mine is going to be home slash gp slash leaderboard. And yours might be different, so just alter yours the way you want it and need it. Then we need to actually create this file, so you can just click on this new file over here. And I'm going to call that database.sqlite dot sqlite just like that path over there and you'll see it's a blank file for now. Now later on when we actually create some tables you'll see that this is going to change. I'm going to close this and this is now fine and I'm going to save that off. So now what you can do is you can open a terminal window whether you're now using Mac or Windows or Linux and if you're using Visual Studio Code you could just press Control or Command tilde and it will open up this little terminal window for you. From here we're going to start creating a migration which will create tables for us and uh, we're only actually going to create one table for this uh, tutorial series because we are going to just stick to the basics of creating a basic REST API and then getting that to work in Godot which is actually the main purpose of this series.
So first to create a migration, we need to run PHP Audison and I'm just going to run it like this to show you what options you have. So you've got quite a few options of things you can generate and create. And you can go look into each of these if you like, but we're going to create a table migration. So we'll uh, run PHP Audison, make migration. And I'm just going to call this leaderboard and you'll see that it's gone and created a migration over here. So what we want to do now is uh, go into the database folder and you'll see migrations and this is where it created our file. So here there are two methods up and down. So down will basically do the reverse of the up. So when we do refresh uh, migrations, this will be the downgrade or rollback of your actual table creation etc so you can put any logic in here for that and in up would be the creation and so on so to create our table we need to use the schema facade and what we'll do here is we need to go ahead and run to see which method it is So we can, for one, we can first just quickly do this and then I'll check the up for the documentation. The schema that is uh, drop if exists, what we want, and our table name will be leaderboard. That's just to roll it back. And then schema, I think it is creates that we need. And then we need the table name, which is leaderboard. And we need to give it a callback function, which uses a blueprint. A blueprint, like so. And then in the callback function is where we actually create our table. And uh, this is actually table. Let's make that table. And then what we want is a couple of things. We need a table ID, like so. We need a table string, which is going to be our player name. So this is just columns in our table. And we'll make it 50 characters long, that's fine. And we'll create a score column. So that's also gonna be a string for now and call it score and make it 10 characters long then we also just need to create some timestamps it's just something that uh, laravel and newman uses to uh, keep track of changes in tables etc so we'll just create a timestamps as well and save that off so now what we can do is we can actually run this and create this table and uh, let's just make sure we use leaderboard in both cases which is fine so then we run PHP Audison uh, migrate. And what happens is you can see it's now created this table for us with this detail. So you can see this is quite useful. So if you ever need to upgrade this table, you could just add things here and you could downgrade it by using the down and then up to upgrade your table. So that makes it quite useful. And the other thing is this uh, database independence. So you don't need to uh, write specific code for MySQL and SQLite and all the other drivers that uh, Laravel basically supports. So now what we need to do is we need to create a way to interface with this table so that we can actually give it some data. So to do that, um, we will uh, go ahead and create a model. So a model is um, something which just binds to the table and gives us some functionality. So in the app folder, we already have one called user, which we'll use as our uh, starting point. So I'm gonna control A and control C to copy this. And I'm gonna create a new file in the app folder called leaderboard.php. And I'm going to just paste this code in here and modify it. So for our leaderboard, we're gonna keep it really simple. We're not gonna have authentication, so we can get rid of these three lines over here and get rid of authorizable, and get rid of this implements, 
and we can get rid of this use authenticatable etc uh, just uh, remember to put this bracket back because we've now removed it and what we need to do is get rid of these, just some of these comments uh, because they're just going to make things difficult to read so we don't have any hidden fields so we're going to get rid of this and we've got these fillable fields and this relates back to our migration so we'll have a name and score that we want to fill and we create data so we'll keep name and we just put in score over here and then we need to tell it which table this uh, belongs to so we'll create another protected field called table and we'll just set that to leaderboard okay and then our class needs to be renamed to leaderboard as well now you can save that off we don't have any syntax errors we're good to go so now what we need to do uh, just to make this work is we need to go into this bootstrap folder and the app folder this be by default uh, lumen does not come with these two so we need to uncomment these two little lines to make sure we have facades and we have eloquent so eloquent is going to help us interact with our database and facades are going to give us uh, sort of static classes which we can access um, various functionality with so that's great let's now look at creating data for our database so to do that we need to create something called a seeder so we'll run php artisan uh, make a seeder and we'll just call this uh, leaderboard seeder and it creates a seeder so now again in database and seeds We'll now see this leaderboard seeder so here we can run uh, basically our model to create some data for us so we can go ahead and do this but first before we do that we need to include our model so use and it was in the app folder and the app namespace if you remember correctly if you look at uh, what we did here it's in the app namespace so we need to use app and in backslash we need to then say leaderboard and we can now use leaderboard in our run method so here we'll just go and we'll say leaderboard and we'll just two little colons like that and create and then we can just pass it an array of data we want to create so we'll just start off with uh, one with name so I'll just put this in uh, quotes and we'll just uh, go for Dale and score Let's start with uh, 200 like so and now we can go and duplicate this a few times just to create a couple of uh, varying entries so I'm just going to paste this a few times that should be fine and just give it varying scores so 250 and let's make this Jane and we can make this John and we can make the score 270 or so and let's make this uh, Susan uh, 310 maybe and actually we could just get rid of this last one uh, that should be enough data all right so now if we run the seeder it's going to put data into our database and we'll have some data so before we get to that, I just want to show you that our database has created from our migration. So if we open up this database SQL Lite and do this, you'll see that it's created this binary data, which is basically representing our table. And when we create data, you'll see that this should uh, become larger. So I'm gonna close this, and then we need to just configure our seed by going into this database seeder, and then just calling our actual seeder here. So if you will just say leaderboard cedar and save that and then we can say php artisan db seed and you'll see that it has seeded our database and if we open up database sqlite just see if it's uh, grown it looks a bit different now so it has some data in it 
And uh, to prove it to you, I'm going to actually run it. So let's start by just running the basic server. So minus S, localhost. So we are binding it to our localhost name and we are doing it on port 8000 and we are serving the public folder, which is uh, this folder over here. So this is the entry point for the application. So just see it does an app run and it uh, bootstraps it. And then we just hit enter for this and it will boot up a server for us. If we open it up in our web browser now, and just go to port 8000, you'll see that uh, we've got this Lumen 7.2 Laravel components. So that's an app version which is uh, coming in by default. And where that sits is you need to go to the web folder. So it's just uh, collapse all of these or just to minimize them. So we need to go to the roots folder and then web.php. So you'll see here we're returning for the forward slash root. We are returning router app version. Instead of that, now we're going to return the leaderboard data. So to do that, we just need to bring it in first. So we'll use uh, app again and we'll get the leaderboard model. And then all we need to do here is just return leaderboard and we'll just call the all method and save that. If we now refresh this, should get our data from our database. So you can see it's been persisted to the database and it's returning as a JSON string in a REST API, which we can then use uh, within our Godot project. So guys, basically that's it. That's how we create a basic REST API using Lumen uh, Laravel PHP framework and being able to then after this in the next video, get Godot to read this and do something with it. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like below. If you have questions, please comment and I will be happy to answer any questions. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.